Yo, is the shoe? I have been busting my ass. Dave Ray? What's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. But now, he ain't a punk no more. The guy's the head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. Is he gonna cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. Here, this is for you. Be careful, man. If the chump and his men make a fuss, don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. Later. I hear there's a stew pork restaurant in town that's out of this world. Hi there, Zhang Tishu. I'm Mona, the senior mission intel agent on this case. I will provide you with the intel in this operation. Greetings, Mona. Pleased to meet you. Liu Xin is my supervisor. You solve many well-known cases with her. I'm honored to be part of your team. <laughs> You're being too polite. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and enjoying the pageant with his underlings. Keep going and cross the barricade. You'll see him once you get down there. Given your skills, this shouldn't be a problem. Thank you, Mona. What do you know about the Parade of Penate? The city god of Longxi Town embarks on his annual tour on the fifth day of the sixth month of the lunar calendar. People also call it the Parade of Panate. To ensure a year of fortune free of calamities, temple crews will organize a rich and colorful parade along the canal. The Longxi Gang grew pretty quickly in the past few years. They donated vast sums for three years running. This fest cost them $50 million alone. Thank you, Mona. That bit of intel is actually quite useful. I will keep an eye out on things, and update you as we go along. Be safe. I'll see you later. You too. Be careful. Wait long. Hmm? <laughs> oh well, if it isn't a great detective Xiong Zixie. To what do I owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. This reporter's name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. It's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. You hear that? Now there's nothing else. Piss off. Her co-workers say that you're the last person she interviewed. I said you can piss off. You may have heard. We're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. If we do it that way, I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Benate might hit a few snags. Screw you! You think you can threaten me on my own turf? Don't think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? You're just a petty detective. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Ah, what the fuck? Damn, awesome. They got one of us! Fucking hell. 
Fucking worm! We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Get ready to die! Try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! Kill him! Bring it on, big guy.
I'll catch you and break your damn leg. Oh shit! Hi, Zishu. Can you swing by the office today? We got a tough case that needs your help. Hi, it's me. This isn't anything important. I saw the mail you sent me. I don't want to undergo the spinal neurosurgery you mentioned. I know you want the best for me. And I know this new tech looks pretty effective, but please, just let me think about it for a while. Zishu, you've finally come. It's been a while. How... have you been? Zishu, you're finally here. Sorry to call you in on a Sunday. Hey, after all this time away, you're treating me like a stranger now. You're in a much better mood than I expected. I can't stay depressed forever. Anyway, what case is too hard for the great Liu Shi? Another reporter went missing after her vehicle was hacked. She's a reporter with the Dragon City Daily and the mayor's daughter. The mayor is a good friend and college classmate of the director. This reporter was like a daughter to him. Wait. This reporter? What's her name again? Lisbeth. It can't be. You know her? I don't know her. But what I'm about to say might surprise you. Tell me about it. Wei Long is the last person she interviewed. You piqued my curiosity and now you have my attention. This is a new case. Who gave you this intel? I was startled awake this morning by a dream. I remember it vividly. I went to Long Shi Town to look for Wei Long and investigate this case. You mean you dreamt of looking for Wei Long in Long Shi Town? <laughs> Quit messing around and tell me who gave you the intel. I'm not joking. I'm confused too. I'll just have to talk to Wei Long in Long Shi Town. Go on, keep messing with me. Parade of Panade is being held in Longshi Town today. 
The event is sponsored by the Longxi Gang. One more thing. As you already know, Wei Long is the last person that Lisbeth interviewed. There's bad blood between you from five years ago, and now he's the head of the Longxi Gang. There's no way he will cooperate willingly. Head over to Dave Ray's in a bit to get a weapon. Understood. I'll leave soon. I sent the detailed brief to the terminal outside the office for you. Remember to give it a read. Go upstairs and check in with the director before you leave. Great. Sure, you're back. Thank you for coming back for this case. Hi, Director. It's been a while. You lost weight. I take it Liu Xin already filled you in on the case brief? Yes. I'm going to start investigating soon. To be honest, this case puzzles me. Many reporters have gone missing, and not a single one of them has been found. I watched that girl grow up. Please, do everything you can to help. Don't worry. I'll do everything I can to bring Lisbeth back. Hey, Zishu, you're finally back. I've heard you're going to Longxi Town to take out the most ruthless gang there. Got something good for you. Just think of it as a welcome gift. Let's see what you can do. Greetings, Zhang Tishu. I'm Mona, the senior mission intel officer assigned to offer you assistance. Greetings, Mona. Pleased to meet you. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and viewing the Parade of Panate with his underlings. Follow the way to my left and cross the barricade. You'll see him there. I know you crossed Wei Long's path five years ago. Many things have changed ever since Wei took over the gang. Do you want to know more? Tell me everything you have. Ever since Wei Long murdered Chao Liu, and took over Longxi Gang five years ago. The Triad exploded in size. They're now an army of over 30,000 strong, with an estimated annual revenue of 10 billion. In addition to extortion, money laundering, smuggling, drug dealing, and other illegal businesses, Longxi Gang has also had its hands in real estate and other legal pursuits. You might be surprised to know that they're into livestock business and own a dozen or so animal farms as well. Wei Long seems quite the entrepreneur. Wei Long is a cunning and deceitful individual. 
but I have to admit that he's got a keen mind for business. Thank you for the valuable intel, Mona. I'm off to find Wei Long. Be careful out there. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Again! You motherfucker! Idiot. Oh, just lost Mama. This day to come so quickly. You think I'm afraid of you, Xiong Zishu? We'll see who's more scared. Confirm this purchase. Confirm this purchase. The dry suit. Why would the dry suit say, ah, oh, is to 
try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, big guy. Why are you here? Get ready to die. Sorry, this door took me a while to hack open. So you're the one who opened the door for me? And I was just running out of ideas about it. Seeing you fight that augmented opponent got me quite worried. Thanks for your concern. How much do you know about that big guy? Well, I'm really surprised that you managed to beat him. These people are extremely strong professionals. Dragon City has plenty of mutant boxing tournaments. Many old professionals who refuse to retire often turn to mutagens to keep their careers going. These mutant boxing matches are extremely cool and bloody. You obviously saw how mutagen users can use strange abilities such as electrical or flaming attacks. Such spectacles often draw larger crowds. This man is definitely a professional mutant boxer that Wei Long hired. How many fighters did Wei Long hire? I believe he's got more than one of them. I should go after Wei Long. I'm not letting him get away with this. Be safe. Try to avoid fights with such opponents. Yo, 
Don't see you! Don't think you're so tough! I'm going to destroy you! you not to get involved in this, or you'll die a very tragic death! It's lucky you got back safe, Zishu. Longshi Town is a mess right now. Did we get any leads from the mercenaries that kidnapped Wei Long? The intel unit analyzed the images you sent. They're bionic human mercenaries from Koga Industry. That Japanese company? The large multinational security company? Yes. Koga Industry is a global leader in the private security sector, offering both individual and corporate level security solutions with their bionic human products. It's a family business, founded in 1979. The director of Koga Industry is a Japanese entrepreneur named Shizue Ogata. She's also 107 years old. Shizue Ogata co-founded the business with her husband, Hiroen Ogata, in 1979, but Hiroen passed away 20 years ago at the age of 93 due to organ failure. Thompson Technology hadn't perfected its core organ transplant technique back then, but Shizue can now use it to keep herself alive. Businesses are extremely competitive in the security sector. The Ogata family fought hard to maintain their monopoly at the early stage. Some family members even sacrificed their lives to achieve this. Shizue's lost all four of her children during the early expansion phase of the business. She now has only her three grandchildren left. One of them got into the film industry, one is a playboy, and the eldest is Hiroyuki Ogata. Hiroyuki Ogata is a highly skilled warrior who would do anything for the family. But he lacked business acumen and was made the commander of Koga forces instead. With none of her grandchildren competent enough to take over, the old lady had no choice but to continue leading the family business. From what I've heard, Koga Industries' corporate creed is to follow the Bushido spirit, be loyal to its clients and agreements, and attach great importance to its corporate image. They're very selective of their clients. Why would they provide security for a gang member like Wei Long? Forget it. I'll take a trip to Koga now. Easy, man. There's new intel about Lisbeth. The intel unit's AI, codenamed Fawn, finally ran through all of the surveillance cameras in Dragon City. By comparing every frame of all the video footage over the last few hours, the final location of Lisbeth's car can more or less be confirmed. Ditch Village, an abandoned village 40 kilometers away from the firm. Ditch Village? I remember past reports of an epidemic there and all of the villagers were evacuated. Now that place is cordoned off and abandoned. Why would Lisbeth go there? We sent a drone to take some video clips. The village was completely deserted and no useful intel was collected. Based on these two leads, where do you think will be most worth investigating? Sure, I saw the Long Xi Town brief. Good work. Hi, Director. Sorry about the mess. What's most important is that you come back in one piece. Don't worry about the rest. We already sent a team in to take care of it. Liu Xin told me there's two leads to follow now. It's your choice. I'm going to... You don't need to fill me in on the details. Just go for it. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Director. I'm leaving now.
Quit hiding. I see you. Hi, Tishu. There you are. Hi, Mona. See those trip wires on the ground? <laughs> Try not to touch them.
Can you hear people reciting some sort hmm? what? Like I of what? I try to be careful.
What are you doing here, friend? Looking for a girl. A girl? Look around. Is this a place where a girl would come? What happened to these people? What did you do to them? You sure ask a lot of questions, and I don't have time to waste chatting with a dead man. Watch it if you can! Don't be afraid. I'm a detective. You're safe. Those animals. Wei Long sent you to find me. You know Wei Long? What are you doing here? I'm Wei Long's girlfriend. I haven't seen him in months. And the asshole called me last night, saying he was hunted and I need to meet him at Koga Industry. But my car went out of control and took me here. Kidnapped by those perps. Have you seen this girl? No. Please, take me out of here. If I stay here any longer, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm taking you away now. What happened to that guy in the long robe and the others? You were out of it for a while. I think they all left. Zixia, the mission footage you sent back from Ditch Village was shocking. Hundreds of malformed gathered in an underground factory. This is no ordinary case. The relevant agencies have already sent teams there. Even though it's now deserted and the computer equipment was destroyed, we still managed to dig up a lot of valuable information. I I'm sorry to ramble like this. You had a rough time of it, falling off of that bridge. Are you alright? It's fine. Do we have any further intel on that mystery man? Yes. Listen to this. It will shock you. Song Boyong, famous missing person, 51 years old, postdoctoral researcher in computer science and prodigy in the field of AI research. He previously founded a successful AI company. His wife is Yang Huijie, former chief biologist of Thompson Technology. Yang Huijie resigned in 2036 and was killed in a robbery homicide soon after. One year after his wife passed, Song Boyong sold his company and disappeared. Who killed Yan Huijie? Archival records indicate that Yang Huijie's murderer was Wei Long. 
who at the time was still a low-level thug in the Longxi gang. Wei Long spent five years in prison for the crime. It was later proven that Yang Hui Jie's true killer was Chiao Liu, the boss of the Longxi gang at the time. Wei Long had simply volunteered to take the fall. Infighting broke out in the Longxi gang soon after Wei Long was released from prison, and Wei Long took the opportunity to kill Chiao Liu. That was the time you arrested him. I may have arrested Wei Long, but someone hired a top-notch team of lawyers to defend him and successfully cleared his name. Once out of prison, Wei Long shot to power in the Longxi gang. Speaking of Wei Long, how was the girl who came back from Ditch Village? That girl was just in shock. She's been injected with heavy sedatives, so she'll be fine now. She keeps lying because she doesn't trust us, and we have no legitimate reason to keep her here. I let her go. But? But I tapped her phone. She contacted Wei Long shortly after leaving. She arranged to meet Wei Long at the Tang Dynasty Hotel at 8 o'clock tonight. I knew I could count on you, Lu Xin. I'm heading to Tang Dynasty Hotel. I sent a tail to investigate the Tang Dynasty Hotel. Wei Long has many guards there. If this op gets out of control, we may not need to get Wei Long back in order to learn where Lisbeth is. You mean his e-brain? Right. According to the law, memory stored in an e-brain can be admitted as evidence at trial, unless the data is a copy. In order to prevent false memories, the secret key created when an e-brain is installed is matched with the DNA, making it easy to confirm whether or not the data is a copy. If it really comes down to it, just rip the e-brain out of his neck, and we'll have all the information inside his brain about Lisbeth. Tang Dynasty Hotel is one of the most luxurious hotels in Dragon City, and serves the most prestigious high society. I prepared a tuxedo for you to blend in. Time to greet the upper class. I'm leaving now. Sure, you're back. Yeah, good. Thank. Be safe out there. Let me know if you need.